Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you. Nice to be back here shaving. I need a shave badly. Okay, um, right, the last shave, I had a, a couple of weepers here and there and I didn't use a pre-shave oil and I have been using a pre-shave oil in all my previous shaves, I think. Um, pretty much 99% of the time I've used the pre-shave oil uh, to start with and I didn't use one last shave and I had a few weepers so I'm going to use a pre-shave oil again for today's shave um, just to see if it helps. I'm still not convinced about pre-shave oils but if it works today I think I may be a little bit more um, turned on to them shall we say. Okay so I'm going to use uh, my favourite one I've tried so far. This is a uh, New Age, New Age Men pre-shave oil, very cheap, uh, lavender or menthol, you can get this for one pound in the UK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pumps. That's too much Kevy. No it's not. <laughs> it's one pound. <laughs> uh, there it is like you can see, so I'll just uh, rub this in to my whiskers, just to help the uh, soft them up. I've just came out of the shower so it shouldn't be too bad but yeah one pound that costs. It's a nice lavender scent with a bit of menthol. And just rub it in to the whiskers. That will do. And I will wipe my hands and show you the other things I am using in the shave. Um, one or two things I haven't used on camera before. Uh, certainly the, the cream I have never used before. Um, so that's going to be new to me as well as you guys seeing it uh, for the first time. Well, me using it. You might have seen someone else review it. I don't know. Uh, the brush for today's shave. Uh, it's soaking in the... Parasso Super Soaker. It's the uh, little gentleman's groom room shelling. Uh, 50 of these made in the world. Little beehive handle as you can see there. It's a badger brush. And I just have it soaking in there. So I'll leave it in there for the moment. Wonderful little brush. Uh, I'm going to be bow lathering in the Kevy Shaves bowl. Uh, the razor. Now, Jill Snodden said in the comments Thank you for that, Joe. Uh, you haven't used your Q10 Future Clone razor for a while. Do you still have it? Yes, I still have it. It's not a Q10. I think uh, this is the one you're referring to. This is a, a Ming Shi. I had a Merkur Future. Uh, sold it. It was too aggressive for me. Didn't didn't enjoy using it. Um, but then I sold it for I think it was maybe 35, 40 pounds, uh, and I seen this. Um, on I think it was AliExpress from China, uh, Merca Future copy. I think it was six pounds. So I ordered one. I have used this, but I've not used it on camera. I think I've used it once. Um, yeah, so it comes in that box. Here's the razor here. Yeah, so it's pretty much a well, it's an exact copy of the Merca Future. Not as well built. Not as nice materials. Um, you can see the numbers there one through to six. They're not as uh, nice, the, the Futures um, has them kind of embossed, uh, I mean, engraved in sort of thing, but these are just, yeah, it's not as nice, but it shaves just as well, and I don't find it as aggressive. The head comes off like that. Yeah, it's similar, very, it's exactly the same actually, uh, but just probably made with um, cheaper materials. Um, the blade, I'm gonna be putting in that. This is the blades that come with that razor. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try one. What the hell? Um, I always say, if you don't try something, you'll never know. So, I'm going to use one of the blades. Uh, here's the wrapper. It comes in. There's uh, the writing on the back for all you Chinese viewers. Um, I'll open it up. Nice, double wrapped. Very good. I like that. Plain wrapper in here, uh, and here's the blade. 
Minishi Diamond Super Stainless. Uh, on the back, same thing, but it has um, these little tabs here. Can you see A at that side? And it has one, two, and then I think it has a B somewhere, does it? B at that side and three and four. So just to, if you, some people like to flip the blade. Um, so I'll just place the blade on there, like so. Get the top cap. Being careful of my fingers and just snap it into place. And I'm going to have it on setting, uh, setting three to start. So, Jill, um, this is for you, this razor. There we go, there's the, the blade cap and stuff. Yeah, looks good. Looks fine. Okay, that's the razor I'm going to use, and that's the blade. Ming Shi and Ming Shi. Got my Ming Shi working. <laughs> okay, the uh, cream, cream I'm going to be using today. I think I got this at Christmas from Mrs. Kevy, and I've not used it yet, so uh, I'm going to be using this. This is the Parasso Cypress and Vetiver, and uh, I think it was George in the comments mentioned that he was getting some of this and I said I had some so I would use it. Um, it's got a little bit of blurb on the side which I will let you see there and then you can pause that if you want. And on the other side is the ingredients which you can pause if you want to too. Okay, yeah, this is uh, aimed at I think barbers like for, with single blades, but it comes in this pouch out straight out of the box. Uh, this is the pouch that comes in. Um, 9.5 ounces of cream. I've used the this before, not this particular scent, but uh, they do three sets. This one, Cypress and Vetiver, they do Wooden Spice and Azure Lime. So I'm going to use this one today. So it comes in a little screw top like that. Um, here's the bowl, and I'll just go, just give it a squeeze. Is any coming out? Yep, there you go. Screw the lid back on. Yeah, the plastic lid. Uh, uh, yeah, nice pouch. Okay, um, a little bit on my finger there. There's how much I've put in the bowl. Okay, let's, uh, this is going to be a long video. I can tell straight away. So, uh, if anyone skips, what, if anyone wants to skip to the shave, <laughs> I've put the time on the screen right now. Anyone still here? Good. Okay, let's get the brush. Please, and we shall start to lather this. Ooh, a little bit of water left in the brush here, but that's okay. Nice scent. It's uh, not getting much vetiver, a little tiny bit in the background. But, um, I've used these cream boosts before and uh, they're fantastic. Easily whipping up the lather here. I don't want it all to spill out the bowl, so I'm kind of just trying to show you guys. How has your week? How was your weekend and how is your week ahead going? Um, it's just the start of the week, this is Tuesday, so uh, yeah. Hope it's going well. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, bring this to the face. Uh, as you can see, it's quite oily looking, but it'll be fine. Yeah, these Parasso creams are uh, they're very rich. Oh, 
little bit of water in the brush. Again, there's a, there's a lot of it, this cream. It's a nice scent, cypress and vetiver. Just putting a little bit more water on it. Quite a thirsty cream. Yeah, they've been out for a while, these creams, but um, this is the first time I've used the Cypress and Vetiver. Looks good. I love lathering up. Isn't it great to be a, a wet shaver just now? So many good things, so many good products out there. Um, yeah, so much money to spend. <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of money to spend. I mean, there's so much things to spend your money on. <laughs> okay, let's get uh, some heat to this blade. So setting three on the Ming Shi Future Clone with the Ming Shi blade. If this blade doesn't work, I'll go get another blade. Looks like it's working. <laughs> Feels like it's working too, very smooth. Uh, great feedback. And this cream is uh, fantastic. Yeah, I've said that before. Um, some people might say, oh no, don't use a Chinese blade. Uh, one that you've never used before that comes free with a razor a very cheap razor but um, as I said before unless you try something out for yourself uh, you'll never know Yeah, I find this razor to be um, much more comfortable to use for me personally than the uh, the future, the Mecca future. I just uh, I didn't get along with it. It might be different now. Uh, maybe my techniques came on a little bit. Nice slickness from that soap, uh, cream. Blade feels okay. Uh, nice and smooth. Maybe not the sharpest. Yeah, that's the only thing with the future. This is quite a, a bulky razor uh, that I found. It's quite difficult to get right under your nose. Okay. First pass done.
very nice. No issues. Okay, let me rinse this, I'll come straight back. Okay, back for pass number two. Still lots and lots of cream in this bowl. You can see, like, there's a, there's tons of it. Not in weight, it's just the same. <laughs> yeah, I've told you a million times, do not exaggerate, Kevy. Sorry. This is a great little brush. Great brush, great cream, great razor, great blade. Just painting it on. But you can see the, the quality in that cream and the lather. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to leave this on setting three. I was going to go against the grain there. It's uh, three passes I'm doing. Yes, I know. Let's go across first. Yeah, this, this razor, uh, for the price, for me, feels way smoother than the Merker Future on setting three. I mean, about 30 seconds there, I didn't say a word. Wow. I'm losing my touch. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Yeah, some people are probably going, yeah, thank goodness, shut up and shave. Thank you for all the lovely comments in the last video and those that have left comments on other videos. Very much appreciated. Two passes done. Excellent. Let me rinse, I'll be right back. Back for pass number three. Nice scent. Yeah, mostly I get the uh, cypress, but probably a little hint of vetiver in the background. But just nice. Not too uh, overbearing or anything. I've got some uh, great new product to try and show everyone in the next few shaves. Some have been 
sent, some have been bought by me. But, uh, you'll see them soon. I love this cream and brush. Oh, I could do this all day. <laughs> Let's just keep it on number three for the uh, against the growth. Yeah, this is a, this cream really is something else. Oh, a little neck there. Is it? The good thing about this razor is um, there's no overhand, the blade is completely enclosed, which is good. And you would think this handle would be slippy, but um, it's actually not. It's quite, uh, if you have just water on your hands, it's fine. Maybe with soap, it might be a little bit slippy, but. Other than that, it's fine. Yeah, let's try a little bit of slickness. Really good. Yeah, Paras don't know what they're doing when it comes to soaps and creams. I think this is a... This line of their... These pouches that they do, it's just a, a step up. I think it has better ingredients in it. Yeah, one little dot there. Three passes done. Let's have a little rinse. Feel about. I'll tell you what, there's hardly anything there to pick up. One tiny little bit there. Again, just leaving it on three. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, there's one little dot there and I think there's a couple of weepers there. But other than that, pretty much BBS. Oh, a little bit. Where did I feel that there? Right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that feels great. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Let's uh, scoop what's left out of the brush. And uh, my usual routine, I'll just uh, have a little face wash with this. Let it sit on my face while I clean out my brush and bowl and stuff. And then I'll be back. See you for the post shave. <sighs> what a great shave. Great, great, great shave. What a great shave. <laughs> okay, um, let's uh, do the post. Let's do the post. I do apologise. <laughs> no witch hazel today, going straight into the splash. Fine, clean vetiver. Um, I never understood that the, the fine, clean vetiver and fine, fresh vetiver. The fine, fresh vetiver smells fresh. This one smells a little bit darker. It's got a kind of little woody, smoky scent to it. Still very nice though. But um, vetiver through and through. Wow. Only the tiniest bit of burn there. Great scent. A little bit of menthol in it too. Excellent. And to finish, I'm going to be using the Parasso Cypress and Vetiver Balm. Uh, I'll give you guys a look at the ingredients. Some people like to see that. Comes in the same kind of box. Uh, glass jar. Uh, there it is there. Let's see if... Uh, how this comes out. Yep, quite runny. Like that, like you can see. I've probably taken way too much, but. Um, how does it smell? Yeah, kind of similar to the cream. Maybe not as strong. Feels very nice. Not too greasy, like I say, I've probably taken way too much, but that's okay. Yeah, it does smell uh, a little bit like the cream. But like I say, maybe not as strong. Just apply it to my arms. Nice big bottle, this. Uh, 100 mils. 3.4 fluid ounce and there we have the shave and yet here's the here's the little whipper starting to appear it's fine yeah that was the aftershave fine I've got that little towel here in my hands and there we have it today's shave Tuesday's shave very nice very happy with it other than that, and that little dot, and that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> no, it's good, it's all good, BBS shave, excellent, okay, let's uh, show you what we've used, uh, we started the shave with the New Age, New Age Men shaving oil pre-shave, still not convinced, <laughs> but I'll continue to use it, what the hell, um,
The razor for today was the Ming Shi Future Micro Future clone copy rip off. <laughs> it's a good razor. Yeah, very good. I used it on setting three for everything. First pass, second pass, third pass, cleanups. Yeah, very good. Uh, it's not as well constructed as I said as the Mercury Future, but probably shaves just as well. Doesn't feel as aggressive to me, um, which for me is a good thing. Uh, yeah, I think I actually prefer this to the Future. But that's just me. Some people might want the real thing, that's fine. Uh, the blade inside that was the blades, one of the blades that it came with, which was the uh, Ming Shi. It was okay, it done the job. Um, it wasn't, it didn't feel sharp, it didn't feel tuggy or rough, it wasn't the sharpest blade like I say, but done the job. Even managed a little weeper there. And under there. Yeah, so it's a good blade. <laughs> oh, Kevy, you're such an idiot. <laughs> the brush. <clears throat> Shellen Groom Room 24, Gentleman's Groom Room, Little Badger, Beehive. Shellen is actually a Scots Gaelic for honeybee. So that was the brush there. Very good. The cream, the star of the shave for me, the Parasso Cypress and Vetiver. Excellent stuff, really, really good. If you haven't tried any of this, not particularly this scent, you get a lime one and a uh, what did I say the other one was? Uh, I can't remember now, can't recall. Wood and Spice. That's a kind of spicy, woodsy. But try these out, they are very, very good. Much better than the Parasso soaps. If you like a cream, try this. And look how much you get. 9.5 ounces, that will last you forever. <laughs> uh, that was the brush, that was the pre-shave razor blade. Yeah. We then uh, had a little face wash, uh, rinsed that off and the post shave was fine, clean vetiver and the balm was the Parasso Cypress of Vetiver Balm. And that, ladies and gents, blood. Actually, you know what I never ever use? And I'm going to try to see if I can find it. Here we go. Parasso, the little cut gel. I always forget I have it. So it just comes like that. There's a little bit on there. Yeah, I think it's just like a stick that gel. There you go. Yeah, why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> I always forget I have that. Um, yeah, I should remember I should use that more often. Not that I cut myself much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, that's all for me for today. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful rest of this week. Uh, enjoy your shaves. Enjoy... Uh, waiting on the mail if anything's coming to you. Uh, enjoy the weather, it's still hot here, that's good. Uh, I hope it's hot, sunny where you are but not too humid and uh, until the next video I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves, have fun, enjoy life and that's all from me. See ya!